All right, um, good day, guys. This is Paul Olaki. I'm going to be coming in this video to show you guys how to um, mint on Arbitrum and also use the Arbitrum bridge. So, um, how do we go about that? So, firstly, I do hope you have a Binance account. Okay, I get what I showed. So, um, on here, you need to buy Ethereum. Okay, you need to buy Ethereum. So, uh, have your Ethereum in your wallet. So, have your Ethereum in your wallet. So, um, from here, okay, I bought 0 0.13 Ethereum here, which is equivalent to um, 368 US dollars. So, um, what do you do next from here? So, um, again, I do hope you also have a MetaMask wallet. So, um, now I just created this wallet, 0, it does not have anything, okay? So, on your MetaMask, on your MetaMask, or if you are using, if you are using Trust Wallet, anyhow, so I think Trustlet also has the Arbitrum uh, network, but on your MetaMask, if you don't have it, what you need to do, you, you come over to chainlist.org. So away from chainlist, you connect your wallet, connect to MetaMask, okay? So from here, you search for Arbitrum 1, okay? Arbitrum 1 network, here's the chain ID 421.61, and the um, base currency is denoted with AETH. Uh, that is um Arbitrum Ethereum. So you add it to your MetaMask. This you have this um MetaMask notification and switch network. You add okay. So from there, um now you have um you have the Arbitrum one network. Okay, you can switch from Ethereum. You can now switch to Arbitrum. Okay. So and again, so any other time you need to add any custom network, you just search here. You can search for phantom opera you can add and the likes so from there um where do you uh, where do we go next so you go back to you copy your wallet address from here metamask browser um extension i mean copy the address and head over to finance withdraw then you withdraw to the address okay withdraw to um your coin ethereum new address so um enter you infuse the address here so you put your address and then you wait for um, everything to load. Okay, now it's loaded now. So here you put the address that we're drawing to. Then we draw it to under here. You can withdraw directly through Arbitrum. Okay, you can withdraw through Arbitrum. So, but the issue is that it has a minimum withdrawal of um minimum withdrawal amount of um, 0 0.1 Ethereum, which is like two hundred and seventy dollars now. So um, you can go through that. So you need to withdraw zero point one, and also two. You also have um, you also have the uh, second option, which is to um, withdraw through Ethereum, but you'll be paying a higher gas fee. And also two, you would have to bridge again. So um, bridging and gas fee, I don't think it's up to like everything shouldn't be more than fifty dollars or so. But we'll come back to that. We'll, we'll do that again. And um, from here, minimum zero point one. Let me just one and then i'll withdraw i'll withdraw it and then get back to you guys in a minute mm. also now you can see i've received the um ethereum here 0 0.1 arbitron ethereum okay 0 0.1 so um with this now you can bridge um um not bridge i mean you can then meet through this you can then meet uh, with this arbitron ethereum so 0 0.1 directly 0 0.1 so um also two like i said the minimum withdrawal of that is um 270 or so and you would have to pay you would have to pay about 0 0.003 in gas fees also 0 0.03 in gas fees on ethereum so um uh, let me show okay I, I just funded with um usd here so uh, let me trade um let me trade Ethereum BUSD. Now let me buy Ethereum and let's go uh, bridging. So um, let's turn to bridgers. Okay, so I'm just mark as buy Ethereum. So and then let's see what it's here. And then, okay. So that should show up. Come on. So it's. okay 0 0.101 so you know i have that and um we draw to the same address 
so now but now we are withdrawing through ethereum erc20 network okay we are withdrawing to um we are withdrawing through the erc20 network so notice the first one was true arbitrum okay this was the first one arbitrum now we are withdrawing through um erc20 so now minimum withdrawal is 0 0.01 but gas fee is like uh, 17 dollars or 18 approximately so um let me withdraw zero points. Let me withdraw zero. Uh, let me see. Let me see. see, see. Okay, I have zero point one zero one two. Let me withdraw zero point. Um, let me withdraw zero point eight. Let me withdraw zero point five. Okay, so um, I will draw zero point eight five, and then um, pay gas fees of pay gas fees of seventeen point four five. So yeah, zero points. Yeah, I have yeah, 0 0.1. So, oh, sorry, 0 0.085. I mean, 0 0.085. And then um, I'll get back to you guys. I will draw it to this same network, uh, this same wallet. But instead of it being on Arbitrum 1 network, it will be on the Ethereum network. Okay, Ethereum minutes. So you can see the difference now. It's still Ethereum, but the networks are different. So, but to mean on um Arbitrum, you need you know, to bridge. You need um, you need you, you to meet the NFTs. You need um, Arbitrum Ethereum on the Arbitrum minute. Okay, so um, now I will draw my Ethereum and get back to you guys in a minute. Okay, so um, I just need to draw um some seconds ago, but should have it pop up here in some seconds. Okay, so um. Before that, now let's go to the arbitral bridge, and uh, let me show you guys how this stuff actually works. Um, use the websites for the L2 network. So yeah, you can read up on it. You can read up on it if you want, and also too you can come over to um, now. Let's go to the bridge. I should have the. Ethereum now should be in. awesome. So now we have it. Now I have the I've, I've received the Ethereum 0 0.085. So this is Ethereum on the main main Ethereum network. Okay, Ethereum main network. And now this is Ethereum on the Arbitrum network. This is 0 0.1. So and each time you change each time you change network, your um this page would refresh okay so now um, let's bridge from ethereum to arbitrum so you can decide to use the bridge another advantage of using this bridge i don't know if it's a i don't i'm not too sure on it but you can you can you you, you can decide to use the bridge if you want in maybe anticipation of an airdrop there might be an airdrop for bridges so that's another reason why i'm actually doing this so you guys don't just um go the should I just like the easy way sort of but most times things like this that are kind of um things that cost fees like this most times they do run uh, airdrops too especially for bridges so um 0.085 now let's bridge uh i want to bridge everything do i do i can bridge everything okay because i would need the gas fees now let me see okay layer 2 but as you can see i have 0 0.1 or layer 2 layer 1 i have 0 0.085 now you can see that so if I want to bridge to layer two, I want to bridge zero point zero five. Okay, so take ten minutes. Now let me see. Let me see. I I don't think I should be paying more than twenty five dollars for gas fees. Awesome. You can see now twenty one dollars. So it will cost me zero point zero nine two. I don't have that. You know. Let me bridge. Let me bridge um zero point zero point zero. Let me just use the bridge. Let me just bridge something small. so if you want to bridge that's just how um you can go about bridging that's if you don't have the whole 270 dollars to withdraw at once so let me wait for this to load while we bridge um why is it taking time coming refresh connect to the mask Zero, zero, zero. 
Let's put that to show up. Okay, so I want to deposit 0 0.05 Ethereum to the Arbitrum uh, network. So you are about to deposit ETH from L1 into Arbitrum, that's from layer 1 to layer 2. The tech term means for you to see a balance credited on layer 2. When your phone is back to layer 1 Ethereum, if you later wish to do so, it takes one week. So you like to proceed anyhow, shall So deposit and I'll pay. Um, okay, 19. No, I'm not paying this. No, this, this is the. Okay, reject. Reject this. And then approve the order. Okay, yeah. 0 0.025. So here it is. So gas fee $19. Just $19 to bridge. So um, confirm. A total of $88. Okay, so I'll be spending $88 now to bridge. Oh boy. Oh boy. Gas fee has increased again. Damn. So twenty-three dollars, but it's increased by about four dollars now. Okay, so um, let's pay that a small sacrifice to make. So confirm. So one processing. So upon the bridging, it will show up. Okay, you have it here, layer two. So now here's how, here's how you check. Okay, now success, successful. So layer one balance uh, have been deducted here, so still um still in process. So like you can go out and um, you can leave this. Okay, wait. What's that notification? What's that notification here? So um should have been deducted here on my main um MetaMask. Should have been deducted here. Yeah, I've been deducted. So deposit Ethereum. You can see it here. And then when I'm when I'm credited on Arbitrum network to show up. So instead of 0 0.1, it would be 0 0.125. Get it? So that's how you bridge on Ethereum, and that's how you uh, install your, and that's how you add your Arbitrum network to your MetaMask. So I hope you guys actually understand this. So um, also to again, so if you want to miss those NFTs. So um, this guy's actually dropping alpha this um, light medium fee. So you can follow them up too. So they just dropped some alphas on um, NFTs to meet on magic. So um, you can go through you can go through his trade. I think he made a trade. Okay. So uh, light image too, you can follow light image and you can follow um free too. So the two of them actually dropping alphas too. So um yeah, free trade down means you need so here are the NFTs. So yeah, the NFTs you would want to mint, and so uh, most of them are actually free mints. Okay, most of them are free mints, and then you just need to pay fee a, a fee for gas. Okay, and it it's it's it, it's an average of like twenty dollars. Okay, so it may not be up to that, but just have ensure you have at least ensure you have at least um twenty dollars worth, or let me say twenty five dollars worth. If you want to meet so i hope you guys actually understand this so if uh, there's any other question you need or if you are still looking for our first week and follow these guys to let me g and fee so i'd actually um i'll drop their handles in the description so they drop um alphas on nfts and for magic too so you can actually check them out so they will drop in trades too so you can go through that you can go through you can go through the trades so um see you guys another time Pull out.